Who am I speaking with? Adam Blum, uh, CEO of Roamable. And what is Roamable? Uh, we provide an open source framework called Rhodes that lets you write native smartphone apps very quickly that run across all devices. So you have very strong opinions with regards to creating apps natively or web-based via HTML5. Uh, what's your argument for or against? I think it's an artificial dichotomy. You can use HTML5 for your interfaces. It's a great tool to create interfaces with frameworks like Rhodes or PhoneGap and others. Um, but that, is, that does not mean that the solution is to just write a mobile web app. If you do that, you won't get device capabilities. You won't get the ability to have local data on your device. So the solution is it's not HTML5 or native, it's both. So hold it, but you know, everyone tells me, hey, I should be going HTML5 because hey, I write it once, then it'll be usable by everyone, and then I don't have to create you know, five different versions of it. Uh, the problem is then you don't have an actual app on your device. So it's just a mobile web app. You don't get to use all the interesting capabilities of the device, uh, and you don't have local data. Um, so what users clearly prefer is a native app. So you, didn't you have a specific experience about not being able to actually do exchanges on a uh, HTML5 app or a web-based app? Yeah, so before I was CEO of Roamable, I ran uh, browser and server engineering at Good Technology. We had a mobile browser. It was the first Ajax-capable mobile browser. It was licensed by 10,000 companies, but none of them used it to do actual transactional work. They would just look up information. And the reason why is the data was not resident. For the same reason that you don't get your email through a mobile web browser on your device, applies there. If you want people to do actual work, you have to give them a native app where the data is resident locally. So you were also pointing to a comment that uh, a Salesforce guy had said about searching something. Well, that might be good for searching, but not for actual work. So give me sort of the dichotomy. HTML5, good for this, not for that. Correct. I mean, if you, uh, and let's be clear, I think you should use HTML5 all the time, but you want to use it in the context of a native app. Um, but in terms of a mobile web app, yeah, it doesn't mean that it's never useful. It, it can be useful for looking up data, for referencing information, but if you're actually uh, transacting things, creating, updating, or deleting data, you need to have a local app, and you need to be able to handle the scenario of disconnected local data. Excellent. Adams, thanks so much for your time. Great. Thank you.